3 Reasons to Use Time Tracking to Boost Your Productivity Whether you're a full-time internet marketer or just do it on the side to supplement your income, each and every one of us has had to deal with time management problems. The more creative you are, the more your website will stand out in a sea of similarity, especially in a saturated market. Unfortunately, the human brain doesn't make itself creatively available 24 hours a day, nor does it make itself operational at peak levels on demand. The thing about creativity is that it comes in spurts and most of us need time away from a project so when we come back to it, we do our best work. B. Why limiting the amount of time we spend on a certain area of a project, specifically the area that needs the most creativity, we ensure that our creative reserves are full and our best work is always put forward. Taking time away from the computer will eliminate creative burnout. Even the great Beethoven set hourly limits on the amount of time he spent at the piano composing, spending a good amount of his life in leisurely activity and in a mental restorative state. Use time tracking to let yourself know when it's time to start and when it's time to call it quits in order to keep your brain refreshed and to stay focused and on goal. One of the easiest ways to get distracted when working online is to actually be online. Online marketing has the word online in the job title, so we're really at risk here. Unless you are the most disciplined person in the world, you will soon be posting on social media, watching a few videos on YouTube, reading content that doesn't pertain to the task at hand etc. There are millions of sites out there designed to help people pass time and entertain, but what they really do is distract. While it's not a surefire cure for online distraction syndrome, setting a timer when you sit down to work will keep you aware of the time you are spending. This sets specific goals and timed challenges that will have you racing against the clock to complete your task in the amount of time given. This works really well if you turn your earnings into hourly rates and start to see that the longer you spend distracted, the less money you make. It's best to start in small intervals of 30 minutes or so. This is akin to setting deadlines for yourself that you have to meet. You'll soon start to realize the amount of work you can get done in this time and as you increase that work, your return on time invested goes up. The more you can get done in your set working periods, the more cost-effective your time becomes. This also makes you more accountable for your time and money. Point three, create an effective work rhythm. Work rhythms are extremely underrated. When you get in the zone, you bang your workout quickly and effectively. But how often do you actually get in the zone? When you manage your time, you'll quickly find that you are in the zone more often because your body becomes in tune with the rhythm you're setting. <laughs>